Today on Block Success Journal, Web Hosting 101. What's shared web hosting? The ins and outs, what does it really mean? Yeah, what is shared web hosting? In summary, it's basically the, the beginning. It's the starting point. If you're gonna start a website, that's where you go. It's cheap, it's reliable. Yeah, they're gonna throw you onto a big server with a bunch of other websites. But in the beginning, that's all you need, especially if you're only in development stage of your site, okay? Absolutely. So it's really cheap, starts around $7 a month, and it's very easy to set up. And if you have trouble setting this stuff up, most of the support teams at these places are able to help you get your website set up and running. Yeah, the trick is being with one that's somewhat reliable. So yeah. now the caveats, what are the downsides uh, to, to shared web hosting? One, not super reliable for long-term uh, production sites uh, or very uh, dynamic resource-heavy sites. Like you're running 10 WordPress websites, each one getting hundreds of thousands of page views. You can't be on a $5 a month site. You yeah, know? you're doing a lot of processing type stuff. Exactly. You, know? you, you can be there for development and you should. Now, and, and the next point is you share a server with hundreds of other sites. The way this works, the way these guys can give it to you for five bucks a month or seven bucks a month, whatever it is, they have these server boxes and they actually put hundreds of websites on each one of them. So you're one of these hundreds. Most of those sites are never getting any traffic. You yeah. know, <laughs> Most of them are you know, Joe's blog, who Joe's two friends actually visit now and then, perhaps his mom, maybe his mom. Uh, but you know, there is a danger though if one of those sites does get you mentioned know, on Oprah, mentioned on Oprah, listed on Dig, you know, something like that, that it's going to bring the whole box down and you with it. And sometimes two of those sites may get popular. Sometimes it's you get, that gets popular. So, and a very important gotcha that, that uh, these web hosts don't tell you and something you really should know. They, many of them claim like, you could get a terabyte of data transfer, free disk space, all you can eat, whatever. And you're like, oh great, that's an amazing value. Here's the gotcha. You will never ever use a tiny fraction of that dedicated, uh, of, of that uh, bandwidth they give you, that storage, whatever, because if you got anywhere near the traffic that would touch that, your CPU and memory usage would total, would, would pretty much keep up. destabilize yeah, that box and they'd up. shut you down. So those are not real numbers. Don't really pay attention so to that. So while having a lot of pipe, you know, bandwidth is good, you got to make sure that you've got the processing power behind it to handle exactly. that. Exactly. So in summary, what's really important? This uh, shared web hosting is really great for starting your site. You know, it's five, seven bucks a month. It's great. It's a great starting point. Don't plan to have your production website that you really depend on long term for years on a seven dollar a month hosting no, plan. Don't start there, but that's okay. And don't forget, guys, go to blogsuccessjournal.com. Check out our resources page. So it's blogsuccessjournal.com/resources. I'll put the URL down here for you, and that's where we list all of our recommended hosts, both for shared hosting and cloud and everything else. Absolutely. So just blogsuccessjournal.com. Button at the top. Resources. Make it real easy. But there's one. There's actually one shared web host that we've used that we recommend to our friends and family. Just one. A lot of them are flaky. So now a question for you guys. What type of web hosting do you use? You know, uh, are, are you happy with it? Leave a comment.